Students who score within 18 points of the number 82 will pass a particular test. Write this statement using absolute value notation and use the variable x for the score. Okay, so let's get down to business. So they basically are telling us that whoever is going to score within 18 points of an 82 will pass. So here's an 82, right? Here's that score. And technically, they, they didn't say whether you had to get 18 points above 82 or 18 points below 82. They just said that the students who score within 18 points will pass a particular test. So we have to divide this into two limits. I can give a higher limit of saying 82 plus 18, but then there's the lower limit, right? Of 82 and then minus 18. Any of these is true. So X is going to be equal to these two things, right? Which is using the variable X as the actual score. So the score that they're going to get just has to be either 82 plus 18 or up until plus 18 or 82 minus 18. So let's write that out in terms of greater than or less than uh, or equal to signs. So here's my score, right? This is the normal X and there's a limit, right? There's an upper limit and there's a lower limit. There was a higher limit and a lower limit. The higher limit was stating that you just had to be 82 plus 18 and the lower limit was 82 minus 18. Now we just have to add in our greater than or equal to signs. If this was the higher limit, this means that this has to be the greatest number. So the greater than sign would go towards this. Remember the alligator always chops down on the greater number. And it would be greater than or equal to because it just has to be within. This is the lower limit so that means that between this and this, x should be higher. So the greater than or equal to sign should be facing the x. And it's, it's no coincidence that these signs are identical. When you write your notation like this, these would be the same exact sign. You're not going to have one like this and then the other one flipped. They always should be going in the same direction. Okay, that's the hardest part. Now we just have to, actually no, we, we actually have to just put this into absolute value notation. So I just have to take this and turn it into an absolute value notation. Now keep in mind that anything that's in an absolute value, right? Let's just say X, you know, plus one, right? Equals something. And just know that absolute values always give out a positive answer. So it doesn't matter that this was actually equal to a negative, it's always going to give you out the positive answer. So the lower limit, if we think of this as terms of the negative, right? The lower limit, this would not technically be existing in my actual absolute value function, because then we usually set up the function as, you know, we, we kind of break it down. That's how you get the two pieces. Here's the one piece. And then here's the other piece. So when you're actually trying to get it into absolute value notation, don't even look at the lower part. Just look at the higher part. So that's now just taking it as saying X is less than or equal to 82 plus 18. So I'm just going to write that out. X is greater than or equal to 82 plus 18. Now I just want to put it into absolute value notation. Remember that the the difference in the distance, in this case, it would be the 18 points. That's what we have to get everything equal to. We just have to solve. We just have to, you know, set our score within 18 points. So we need to solve for this. We need to get only the 18 on one side of the equation. So I will just subtract 82 from both sides. Get rid of that. So this would be X minus 82 
is less than or equal to 18. And now I'm ready to just put in my um, absolute value. And there you go. That is my answer in absolute value notation. So it's my score, x minus 82. The absolute value just has to be equal to or 18, uh, greater than 18. 18 is the greater number. And that is the answer. OK, guys, what do you think? Let me know in the comments if this helped you or not. I hope absolute value notation is getting a little bit easier. Um, if you want to help us out, please hit that subscribe button. We would thank you so much. We just reached 6,000 subscribers. That's incredible. So thank you to everybody who has subscribed and who is watching these videos. I hope you guys all have a great day. Keep studying hard. And I will see you guys all in the next question. Bye-bye.